Hello once again good people, it's your tooth doctor Maureen Mora here. If you are new here, welcome to this channel. All we do is talk about matters of oral health. And um, in today's video, I want to talk about what motivated me to create this platform and that was dental fluorosis. So today we are going to understand what is dental fluorosis in the simplest way possible. Once you have understood what it is, then we'll move swiftly to other things pertaining to dental fluorosis. For me, I honestly feel it is important to talk about uh, the condition of dental fluorosis simply because of the burden and the stigma that comes with it. For instance, um, when someone looks at you and you have dental fluorosis, first of all, they might think you are dirty, you don't clean your teeth, no matter how groomed you are on the outer part. And uh, some people, they usually have stigma. Akiwa kwawatu, they don't want to converse well, they don't want to engage with these people because they are minding about how this person is going to relate to them. Another thing that comes with it is um, lack of jobs. I know of a patient who was telling me they were denied uh, job opportunities because of uh, how they are, how his teeth were presenting. Um, and this mostly affects those people who work in the front office and um, those who want to join the discipline forces because most of the time they tend to relate it to your um, skeletal muscles. Um, another thing I think that comes with it is um, some people think you're on drugs and it is unfair. So with that said, I feel like we should handle this thing called dental fluorosis. I know by now most of you are wondering what is um, this dental fluorosis. Simply, dental fluorosis is a um, condition that uh, affects the tooth structure when we ingest a large amount of fluoride, and it happens mostly between the ages of zero to eight years. Kwasababu, this is the period when the tooth is developing. So it usually happens over a long period of time, and uh, since this channel we are all about simplicity let us just call it staining however staining can be in two ways when it affects the outer surface of the tooth which is uh, normally this outer part here or when it affects the inside of the tooth when it is affecting the outer part of the tooth that is something else whose um, management is usually different and I will be talking about that in, other, in our other videos. However, if I forget, do what you know how to do best, remind me. Majorly, the fluorosis affects the enamel structure, which breaks and easily picks on the stain. So, where does this fluoride thing come from? Fluoride itself is a naturally occurring element which is usually in uh, stone, some aqua rocks, whichever way you want to relate it. And then, on the other hand, we have water, which geographically, most of it is underground. So what happens when the water seeps through the rocks? It dissolves this fluoride ion, hence the presence of, um, of it in water. However, it can also be found in uh, food, I'm a for toothpaste as well. For your information today, dental fluorosis is irreversible because it occurs within the composition of the tooth. So I want you to digest that information. We meet again in the next video where we'll be talking more about this giant thing, dental fluorosis. Bye.